Isaiah 58 and 8 is where we'll begin. And I believe your thing on tonight is let your healing begin. Amen. Has it started for anybody? Amen. Well, that's enough to get excited about right there. Amen. Have you, have you ever been sick and healing has started? You are. Right I don't know, I, I don't know. I don't know how hard I'm gonna get somebody to help me out tonight. But I, I, you know, you know what? I, I guess ain't no sick folk ever been in here. But but when you've been sick, really sick, and the healing and recovery has started, you start to feel better. You start to put your clothes on. You start to comb your hair. You start to get a little pep in your step. That's enough right there to get excited about the fact that prophetically you're saying and you're announcing that the healing is about to begin. Is there anybody out there? The Bible says, when you have the uh, Isaiah 58, 8, we're going to read there. We're going to go down to the 11th verse. I'm going to write of you, and I want you to say, neighbor, neighbor. I, I am in, am in recovery. recovery. The Bible says you will be like a water garden and like a spring whose water will never run dry. Hallelujah. Look at them again on your way down and say, I, I am in recovery. Father, I thank you for the seed of your word on tonight, God. I thank you that forever is your word settled in heaven and tonight we settled it in our heart that we might not sit against you. Father, I ask you now to allow me to connect with the text and the text to connect with your people so that they may hear the word and that it may cause them to think and cause them to change in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the kind of anointing that makes preaching easy in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible, the Bible here begins to talk to us um, in the text and it begins to tell us that some things are getting ready to happen for us because the healing process has begun. If anybody has ever been in the hospital or has ever been sick or has ever been um, had surgery, the surgery and the process leading up to the surgery is very painful. And after, after the surgery for a little while, you still are experiencing some discomfort. And um, the doctors do something. They say, we're going to put you in the recovery room and let you heal by yourself for just a moment. And so a lot of times in Christendom, we get in places where God, when we come out of something and uh, we think that God, everything ought to be all right right now, but I'm still experiencing some discomfort. And sometimes people don't understand how to handle you when you are experiencing discomfort. They think you're being and the really thing is that I'm not being funny, I'm just in recovery right now. Because when you're in recovery, everything and everybody can't touch you. When you're in recovery, you have to be careful of infections and disease. When you're in recovery, people around you have to understand that you've been cut on. See, when God has a purpose for your life, he will always do surgery on you. Because when God wants to present you to the world, he will not present you as you are. Stupid. 
Cause the 